We at Iseltech are working on a technology which is web defacement and mobile application scanner. This will help the organization websites which are being targeted by the uh, uh, terrorist countries and also hackers to penetrate into our systems. So this solution will not only help the government organizations, especially the financial sector and other uh, allied organizations which are dependent with uh, sensitive data. So our technology should be able to guard against all kind of hacking and terrorist attacks on our uh, critical system. The technology I have created is the charging station of drones. So this is your shadow time when there is an attack, it is 2 minutes. So for the QRT, it will be our charging station. When it will be an alarm, it will be automatically released from the drone. It will be able to get the attack where it will reach. And if we can put it on our highways, if there is any situation or any situation, it will immediately respond to it. It will be automatically released from the station. And when it will be released from the station, it will be released from the station. क्योंकि जगह काफी पैरामीटर्स पे लगा रहेगा तो ये अपने आप जब इसका काम खत्म हो जाएगा तो अपने आप आके उस बॉक्स में बंद होके चार्जिंग होती रहेगी और ये एकदम सेफ है सिक्योर है उसका उससे इससे किसी को कोई हाम नहीं होगा और ये गर्मी में गर्मी को बर्दाश्त करने वाला है उसमें रहेगा डब्बे में और सर्दी में सर्दी में जैसा क्लाइमेट का सिचुएशन होगा वैसे ही उसका वो रहेगा बिग बैंग मोम हैज बीन अ ग्रेट बिलीवर इन द आईडेक्स प्रोग्राम एंड वी बीन पार्ट ऑफ द आईडेक्स इन द स्टार्ट ऑफ द जर्नी बिग बैंग मोम इज वन ऑफ द स्टार्ट अप्स दैट वन आईडेक्स वन एंड सिंस देन वी बीन पार्ट ऑफ द जर्नी एज एज एन इनोवेटर एंड एज अ पार्टनर इन द एंटायर प्रोसेस Today, we are proud to say that today we have signed a contract with both the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force. The largest IDEX order worth more than 200 crores for the procurement of anti-drone defense uh, contracts. It is a really, it's a real milestone and we were really proud that this happened in the front of the Defense Minister and the entire community. So that this would encourage not only us but all the other 400 startups that are working in the region that through IDEX, not only is it that handholding is provided and the initial grant is provided, but then large procurement orders are also in the pipeline. So one of the biggest things that's uh, been happening with this entire revolution with IDEX is the fact that there's a great deal of in, uh, encouragement for indigenous development and there is real focus and we realize that the entire initiative of Atmanirbhar Atman Bharat is not only in uh, talk but also in action. So not only have we been supported in terms of being able to build the products, but there is also an extensive support that's being given for us to be able to market our products abroad and also provide opportunities for export uh, that can be done with the products that are being built. So this entire development of ecosystem not only strategically places India at a very very strong footing because all the IP being developed under IDEX belongs to India as a country and to the startups in India but it also places in firm footing where we are independent of any defense import, uh, import uh, regulations uh, when it comes to being able to service the needs of the Indian defense ecosystem. Being a women entrepreneur and not just a women entrepreneur but a technologist really at heart. So I've done my uh, bachelor's and master's in computer science and technology and I am in fact the CTO, the chief technical officer at Sisi Radar Private Limited. Uh, it's one of the most rare combinations uh, in terms of you know not just you know doing an entrepreneurship but working in a defense and space sector and that too in the technology domain. Um, you know, it's quite lonely, <laughs> but uh, you know, as such, even like as part of IDEX, the way women are being fel uh, felicitated, for example, it is very encouraging for women like us, especially in the technology domain, when we see people like, you know, our Honorable Raksha Mantri, Mr. Rajnath Singh coming and felicitating women entrepreneurs and especially uh, you know, uh, people in the field who have just started, uh, you know, who are trying to make their mark and, um, uh, you know, create, innovati uh, create innovations within the technology domain. So it is quite encouraging for, uh, you know, us women to have such a platform and be encouraged. And I hope that, you know, when um, I also saw in the function there were many school students also, I hope that, you know, that inspires them, not just, you know, women, but also men that, you know, okay, women can also work in technology domain and can lead, um, uh, you know, uh, companies which are focused on, you know, cutting edge deep tech. So, um, 
you know, I'm very happy with, uh, you know, how the felicitation uh, event was uh, also organized. In general, STEM has been a field wherein women are, uh, you know, are generally found less in number, but, but um, you know, as I go along, I hope that, uh, you know, at least in my company, my aim is that, you know, I encourage uh, women technologists to come up and uh, I, personally what I have found that even, in fact, engineering is such a field that women uh, are intrinsically, I feel, you know, are very well fit for the job because it requires a certain meticulousness, it requires patience, it requires experimentation. If you fail, you have to try again. And that patience, I feel that, you know, women somehow, you know, are naturally have that kind of patience and I feel like it's a very well fit for women and technology and uh, I hope like, you know, with platforms such as IDEX, with um, the various types of encouragements that are happening um, in by the government of our country and globally, um, I hope that, you know, we see more uh, equality uh, than ever before.